Hello and welcome to this review on Mantic Terrain Crate. We're, today we're looking at dun 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 dun, the Wizard Study. This is a 20 piece set. We're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open and take a look at it. So, take a second here. Ooh, it is plastic wrapped. So this one's a little bit more neatly packaged than the other one. And sorry for the glare. We shall remove that momentarily by getting this plastic wrap off of this thing. Now if the other set that I opened, the tavern set, it looks like they made some improvements to the packaging. So let's remove the glare here. There's a bunch of little things. We'll open up those in a moment. So what I had problems with last time was again some of the lights. So here we have a candlestick. Just slightly bent, not too bad. Uh, thank you for the better packaging in this because these are not as warped as the others. So those are two little pieces there. <gasps> Next we got an owl. Woo, woo hoo. He's looking pretty good. Uh, we got nice sitting back chair. All that looks comfy. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the evil, evilest of them all, right? And some decent detail on the back. Uh, we've got a bit of a scrying glass, or uh, what, what would we call this? A wishing well, or um, a vision surface. Think of a mirror kind of image on here. Oh, it's gonna be fun to paint up. Some books. Can't have a wizard study without books and paper. Perfect. Ooh, this one here got a little bit bent. Not happy about that. Uh, yeah, not too bad though. I do like the detail on it. It's almost steampunkish. This one here. So very sturdy desk. Ladder. I can get it out of here. Ladder for Again, getting up to all those high to reach places. Decent detail on that. A big bookshelf with books already included in there. It's gonna be a bit tricky to paint, but should be a fun little challenge. Oh, that a little bit of a seam here. I'm gonna have to fill that in. Okay, so that was assembled. Hmm. Yeah, so that was assembled, pre-assembled. I have to fill that in. Still looks pretty decent. Uh, we got another one of those. It looks identical. Uh, we got a smaller bookshelf. That one's pretty nice. This one was assembled. Ooh, still a little bit of a gap. Okay, uh, bookshelf with bottom drawers for hiding all your secret stuff. And there's a globe. Oh, I'm liking that. Some little note. Holding areas. This looks like a corner bookshelf, which is awesome. I wish I could have more of these. That's nice. And that is one solid piece. I don't know how I'm gonna get that back in. Next, of course, is ooh, the bookshelf with the wizard hat. Nice. Little wand up in there, some skulls. Oh, and a chest. This is the uh a good one and good detail on the back as well now the piece de resistance we have our astrology device of some kind looking at whatever planet is in your D, &D universe got some ways of looking at the night sky keeping track of things it is slightly warped but not too bad um, I'm liking that. That's a good piece. Oh, it's got like the sundial sort of thing going on in there as well. Really pleased with that. So we'll move everything else out of the way and we'll do a quick comparison on how tall things look. And we just have our little teeny tiny bag of a few things. So in this teeny tiny bag, we have number one, a dagger and some scrolls. We got a quill and some books. Some little candles, 
and some potions in a little pouch. Again, that one's kind of tricky to see. But yeah, so there's all of our tiny stuff. Now let's grab a bookshelf, the desk, maybe a chandelier, candlelight, and let's see how models look next to some of this stuff. I'm not gonna pull out everything, but I'm gonna pull out some stuff. Oh, and that doesn't line up, that's not fun. Okay. So here we are, put a few things on the desk, why not? We'll leave some stuff there. And let's grab our Dragonborn that's not painted yet. Put him down here and we'll also grab Darrow as like a small, tiny little guy to showcase this. So let's take a look at our scale here. So it looks like this seems about proper scale and he'd have a hard time looking into it. The desk is a little bit, um, well, I guess that proportion is pretty decent. Our Dragonborn, again, being super tall, uh, not quite as tall as a mirror, but close. We move over to the bookshelves. Um, again, the bookshelves are still towering over him by a decent amount, so I like the scale on that. Uh, let's put them next to here. Yeah, so the desk is a decent sized desk. So uh, that's your little inspiration for today. Hopefully this has gotten you excited about your next D&D uh, project. Till next time, happy hobbying.